on bank of All Saints Impact team. Um, some of you may be, some of you know it, may not, but I hope you're all surviving during quarantine. I am self-isolating for 12 weeks. <laughs> it's my birthday tomorrow and you know, things could be better but that's what I'm here to talk to you about. My talk today, my little thought, is on promises and hope. Um, as the other day, I was feeling quite low and I did what everyone would do when they're feeling low. I turned to the Bible <laughs> and I thought, what a great situation we were in to read about over then. Noah and the Flood, which is chapters 6 to 9 in Genesis. And so what happens is God comes to Noah and he tells him he's going to flood the earth. Noah's to build a big ark for his family. Two of every animal and some animals for, for food and for sacrifice as well. And... The flood comes and it rains for 40 days and 40 nights and then 150 days goes by and they're waiting for the waters to come down. They're on the boat a very long time, like we are stuck inside pretty much, <laughs> maybe a bit longer. <laughs> but what I found really interesting is God's promise that he made after the flood. I will never again curse the ground because of the human race. I will never destroy all living things. As long as the earth remains, there will be planting and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night. So even though all the bad things in the world are happening, we do still have planting and harvest. There is still cold and heat. There is still summer and winter and there's still night and day. And these are things that we can reduce about rather than focus in on the bad things, it's a part of the promise that he won't um, curse the earth like he did back then. And um, I actually saw on Facebook a, a, a video of Billy Graham. Now he is a, an American, well he was an American um, influencer in the Christian, uh, Christian leader. And um, he was talking about Habakkuk. And Habakkuk asked the Lord, tell me what you were doing. And God said, I can't tell you because if I told you, you wouldn't believe me. And I think that is very true to this day. If God told us what he was doing in the earth right now, we wouldn't believe him. I mean, if you told me this is what 2020 held, I wouldn't believe you either. <laughs> But his, God's promise is the most important part in all of this. That even though all these bad things do happen, it doesn't, um, it doesn't take away anything from the promise God made to the earth and to, to his people and to himself. And that we should have hope in these times. This may be a time of panic for the whole world, but if you also look at it, it's a time of real hope and blessing as we spend time with our families. We get to do the things that we always said we'd get to do, we'd do and then we put our hand to the side. We get to spend time with God and see what he wants for us. It is a time of growth as well as anything. Um, and to demonstrate um, what I mean about these promises and how special and valuable God's promise is to us, I also <laughs> made a funny <laughs> little demonstration. As some of you don't know, on the 23rd of December, I made a promise to my boyfriend to be his fiance. There's the ring, I know, pretty. But I'm going to show you from this promise 
how important God's promises are to us. So, <clears throat> I'm going to put this in the bottom of this jar. <laughs> and I'm going to take some things that are going to represent the sin and the badness in the world. So we'll have green for our coronavirus. Cheers for that down. Yep. Beautiful so far. Then we have death and loss. We have depression and anxiety. We have bad thoughts, we have money problems, we have nasty comments, we have sin, we have jealousy, we have envy, yeah. <laughs> we have <clears throat> other things <laughs> that I can't think of. <laughs> And we just, they all just go on top. And I, you start to think sometimes that God's promises are lost. Oh, that smells beautiful. <laughs> and that we can't see his promise anymore. That it's so full of all these bad things. That stuff in the world is going wrong. And we can't seem to find his promise. But his promise is in there. We just have to, sometimes we just have to look for it. Like how we look for the rainbow in the sky after the rain, after a storm. It's always there as a reminder. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's there. It still holds a value. It still shows the promise. It's still <clears throat> God's word. It still brings us hope. So have hope for in these times. Remember the promise. Um, you might have seen that loads of people are doing rainbows around. If you could go out for your one hour a day exercise. Um, and it's it's really beautiful to see if you can go out um the rainbows they are a sign of promise and good things to come um take this time to to grow and have faith and hope for a better future um after all this and we hope to see you soon we all miss you and we'd love to hear what's going on with you over the Easter break, how school's going, so please keep in contact and um, I'm sure we'll have one, <laughs> one big massive party to celebrate when all this is over. <laughs>